guys and welcome back to my boy Gavin Slink. How you guys are doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are doing well. So we are currently in South Africa now. So we're going to discuss about uh, the South Africa issue with Chris Brown. Of course, it's already well known that Chris Brown sold out FNB Stadium 94,000 capacity twice for 14th of December, which is Saturday, and also for 15th of December, which is Sunday. And 14th of December, that was the first date. Well, Chris Brown was even surprised that he sold out that show in less than two hours. Surprise. Then they said, you know what? Let's include another date. They included another day for 15th of December, that is Sunday. And now the show is already sold out as well. But now, some South Africans are not happy with Chris Brown. Most especially some organizations. And South Africans are the ones buying the tickets. But meanwhile, some others are not happy. In fact, there have been 9,000 signatures so far. 9,000 signatures so far written to the home affair to stop Chris Brown from coming to South Africa because of his violence past. 9,000 signatures, but if you compare 9,000 signatures to 94,000 signatures, it's not even, it's not evenly matched, right? So now, according to the Home Affairs on this particular matter, we do not know the exact decision they are going to take now that they want Chris Brown not to come to South Africa. So the memo release, according to MDN News, they said petition urge Home Affairs Minister to cancel Chris Brown's South Africa concert. A petition urging the Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Leon, to cancel Chris Brown's upcoming concert in South Africa has been initiated by the gender-based violence organization Women for Change. The U.S. singer known for his criminal history of domestic abuse is scheduled to perform in Johannesburg on December 14th and 15th. But if we are talking about the U.S. known for criminal history, what of the criminal history are you talking about? He was only convicted for one, and that was Rihanna, and in which he paid dearly for it, right? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about 13 years ago. 13 30 years ago and you guys keep holding on 13 years ago Rihanna currently is a multi-billionaire <laughs> that guy has lived past the name Chris Brown but you guys are still stuck you guys are still stuck in 13 years ago well let me continue, guys. This performance, or, or this performance occurring short, or occurring shortly after the 16 days of activism campaign against gender-based violence, as part of sign among activists. Despite his past, Chris, Chris Brown continued to face criticism, and his upcoming concert had drawn backlash from those advocating against GPV. Chris Brown has been banned from entering several countries such as Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand due to his criminal record. You are lying. You are lying. You are lying. Chris Brown is not banned in Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand due to his criminal record. He was, say was, use the word past tense, was. He's no longer banned. He performed in the Canada alongside the, uh, 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 Drake and also went there on his own to perform. And don't forget, he also went to U UK, sold out O2 Arena three times, three nights in a row. I believe four nights in a row, right? Four nights in a row. Sold out O2 Arena like three times or more in a row because of the, the because of how, how how fast the tickets were selling. Nobody has done that before. The only person who have attempted that was Whiskey. Whiskey did it for two times in a row. Chris Brown did it for four, four, four to five times in a row. So those two artists are the ones that attempted it. So Chris Brown can go to UK. 
no longer banned. Chris Brown can go to Canada, no longer banned. Chris Brown can also go to Australia and New Zealand, no longer banned. So where are you basing this report on? What facts are you basing this report on? Hmm? What facts are you basing it on? At least, if you must apply for something, apply in a way that you are not lying about it now. Don't lie about it. Don't lie. Because we clearly know that Chris Brown is not banded anywhere. He has already paid his due. They banded him before, but he, he, he already exceeded the band and is now allowed. So if you say criminal record, you need to be factual about those criminal records. Only convicted one and sentenced serve his time. So, so what again are you talking about? He's no longer on probation again now. He has already he has cleared everything. So what again? Okay, are you basing it based on allegations from women? From allegations from women, there is no conviction yet. No conviction, no even court case. No court case on Chris Brown issue. The only court case we know about is the PDD. We should go to go into that as well now. No court case on Chris Brown. No. So, but I don't understand how. How in the country, in the country, someone sell out a stadium twice, about to perform. The same country, some few people are saying, no, it shouldn't come. We all have our fundamental human rights. If you don't want Chris Brown, stay in your house. Good and fine. Me that want Chris Brown, I can buy the ticket to see him. Fundamental human rights. You have your rights, I have my rights. Right? So, you say you don't want to see Chris Brown, so that means I should subside my rights because of you. Nah, 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 nah. So, it's left for the, for the South Africans to, to speak on that matter. After all, we know a lot of, uh, a lot of all those uh, domestic issues in South Africa. It's one of the most, the, South Africa has the highest, I think in Africa as a whole, domestic issues. So, why not deal with your own issues first? Deal with your people, your, your people first, you understand? Don't use somebody to set an example. Deal with your people first. This feminist group. <laughs> well, that being said, like I've said before, the only person who is currently answering case now is uh, Puff Daddy. And just imagine, just like what uh, Kate Williams, the comedian said, just imagine being a celebrity and get invited to a Puff Daddy uh, party and not knowing exactly what goes on in that party. That's my point. You can't be so happy to change shit that you fuck up your life. Mm. You know how many celebrities went to Diddy's house? <laughs> Thinking they was finna dance? <laughs> How does that feel? You a grown ass man. You gotta leave Diddy party like that. You can't even sit down in the car. You gotta drive all the way home standing up. Can't roll the window down. You roll the window down, that breeze hit that open ass hole and start blowing, and ships start sailing. A thousand bottles of baby. Hope that he really committed a lot. <laughs> we need to ask a pop a dam of platinum because it's the recent celebrity we see coming out after a PDD party going back to his state, he was uh, leaping. You know, he, he couldn't see that right. Thank God there is video. 
So we need to start asking the dimoplatinum alpha, alpha, how did it happen? <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm going to catch you next time. Peace.